Hello, and welcome to part two in my series of screencasts about how to make an awesome Python development environment. In part one, we discussed how to use easy install and distribute. And in part two, we're going to discuss what happens when easy install doesn't work. Now, you might be thinking, easy install? It's supposed to be easy. Why wouldn't it work? Well, let me show you. Let's uh, easy install the Python imaging library. And it's downloading it, and everything's happy. Uh, oh my god, we got all some kind of errors, right? But if you notice, the error here is that uh, GCC failed, the C compiler. Why, why is the C compiler involved when we're installing a Python module? Well, some Python modules, all you do is download a bunch of Python code and put it in a folder, like Django. So that totally works, no problem. But some Python modules uh, actually have a lot of code written in C that needs to be compiled. And uh, for those modules, a lot of them depend on various C libraries. And easy install is not capable of installing C libraries because it has to be platform independent, whereas C libraries are anything but. So what you have to do is you have to go and get the necessary libraries and dev packages from your package manager before you use easy install. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is to get Python dev. You always need Python dev. So let's uh, get that first. Yes. Alright, now that we've got Python dev, pill should install and we could use the Python imaging library. However, I happen to know that the Python imaging library has certain features, for example, JPEG features and free type font features that will only be enabled if we have the appropriate libraries already installed. So let's go ahead and install those libraries uh, before we install pill. So let's get install libjpeg60, uh, libjpeg dev. And let's also install libfreetype6-dev. Nope, did I type it wrong? I did type it wrong. There we go. You'll notice that zlib1g-dev is a dependency of uh, freetype6-dev, which is good because that is something that pill also is going to look for. All right, so now we can go back and we can easy install pill, and this time we will not get any weird or nasty errors like the first time. There are some warnings, but you can just ignore those. Unless you actually get an error, uh, easy install is working. And remember, this is compiling you know, C code, so it's not as quick as uh, just downloading something from the internet. It has to download and then compile. All right, and pill is now installed, and you can see there that uh, you know we didn't install the Tkinter or little CMS libraries. If we had installed the libraries for those things, then support would be available for them. But we did install the libraries for JPEG, Zlib, and FreeType, so support is available for them in pill. So if you ever try to easy install something and it does not work, or it complains about certain libraries being missing, you know, just look into your package manager, you know, for uh, for any packages with similar names, and make sure to install the dash dev package. Make sure you have Python dash dev installed, and then easy install will start to work as magic for you. All right, that sums it up about for uh, part two of our screencast series about setting up an awesome Python development environment. Stay tuned for part three, where we discuss the virtual ENV.